Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I don't think there is a computer in the world without some kind of software on it uh, that is uh, able to read PDFs. Uh, Adobe's PDF, Portable Document Format, is quite ubiquitous. It's everywhere. In fact, I've got uh, software built into the iPhone that can view PDFs. Uh, OS X natively can view and print PDFs. Now, you need to download software for Windows in order to view, edit, and you know, do things with PDF files. Most people download uh, Acrobat Reader, or the Adobe Reader, as I believe it's now known, uh, which is free, by the way, and I think they're up to, at least at this point in time, 8.1. Well, for the past couple of versions, I've had certain issues with printing fonts in uh, the uh, Acrobat Reader, the Adobe Reader, uh, where it looks fine on the screen, and when I send it to the printer, it just looks like a bunch of garbage, like the font didn't translate very well. And I went around and around and around trying to figure out what was wrong, uh, and then more importantly, how to fix it, because it only seemed to impact certain PDFs, not all of them. I think it was just the way the fonts happen to be mapped, because the idea of a PDF is it doesn't always have... Um, an image on each page. It may not just be a hard image like a JPEG. Uh, it's actual text that's been laid out specifically so that it will look the same on this screen as it will on your screen, as it will on somebody else's. And I think that's kind of the beauty of distributing a PDF is they're typically lightweight and the layout and design typically stay with that particular document. Well, again, I ran into issues. The way I found around it, and this happens to be in at least Adobe Reader 8.0, in the print dialog, there's a button that says advanced. Now, I realize this you would not necessarily think to look there immediately, but go to the advanced button. If you're having an issue with printing fonts that are coming out like garbage when you're printing a PDF, choose in this options the advanced print setup dialog for Adobe Reader, print as image. Just put a check mark in that box, print as image. And what we'll do is it'll render the fonts as you can see them on screen, send them to the printer as an image. So that way, it's not a font that's necessarily going to the printer, it's an actual image. Now, the printing time is going to vary depending on the speed of your printer, etc., 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 but I haven't noticed any uh, speed degradation by printing as an image versus just printing, you know, as it normally would. And besides, if I print as it normally did, sometimes my uh, PDFs don't come out. And as soon as I turn this check mark on to print to image, or print, I'm sorry, print as image, uh, then all the problems just kind of disappear. Now I realize some people use different programs to view PDF files, and if I'm not mistaken, Wireless Packet, you were recommending one or two of them the other day. Yes, uh, the first one to view PDFs was uh, an app called Foxit Reader. Foxit. And I will post Foxit. I'll post that in chat right now. And then the the other one to create PDFs, it was called Primo PDF. Uh, creator and let me just grab that one really quick it's at primopdf.com and those are both free oh that creates pdfs that creates pdfs wow actually this link right here that i just pasted it's a list of pdf software that works in every different kind of operating system proprietary ones open source ones etc it's a huge huge list go script for cute pdf I never used Cute PDF. I never liked any of the Cute products. They, to me, they were never cute. I always thought they were ugly. Yeah. <laughs> but that's just me. I'm kind of a, I'm kind of a, a really um, stingy when it comes to UI. Like I'm, I, there's certain things that I like and certain things that I don't like. So. Interesting. Uh, anyway, uh, I know that there. Uh, I don't know if, if SWAT. Did you have any other suggestions or recommendations uh, for optimizing PDFs or working with PDFs no, in general? No, sir, I did not. Um, the only other thing I could think of, and I, th I know this is available for Office 2007. There's a uh, an add-in, a free add-in you can download that will allow you to print to a PDF uh, from a Microsoft Office 2007 application, uh, and then I think you could also print to. That's is it XPS? There's a new 
Um, That's for uh, Office XPS, uh, it's in, like XPS format? It's XPS, mm-hmm. but then you can also um, print it out as a PDF. The add-in, I think, works with, uh, with both. I haven't actually, it looks like I haven't even downloaded it. <laughs> for my Office 2007, it shows you how much I, I print to PDF or uh, how, how much I use XPS, which Microsoft is trying to release as a... Uh, um, a replacement for PDF. I don't think they're ever going to make the saturation. Very PDF optimizer, Chris. Oh, thank you very much. Very PDF.com. There's another recommendation. Well, you know, I'm always looking for, um, you know, other ways of doing things uh, that, you know, I may have been used to. Again, I've always typically been fine with the Adobe Reader. People have recommended other ones that are probably less annoying than Adobe Reader has been in the past. I can say that uh, version 8.1 is definitely far less annoying than 6.0 or 7.0. 6.0 was horrible uh, for, uh, for Adobe, uh, for, for at least the, the Reader. 7.0 was Chris, a vast I, improvement. Yep. Um, Foxit, though, I believe it's just a single executable. You don't even have to install it. You oh, wow. click and run it. Even... And it's just... It, yeah, it's, it's it's better for those that don't want to download the the reader from uh, from Adobe and install it and bolt and you know, basically bloat their system. They can you know uh, install Fox and Reader. That's great. Uh, just one click and it runs. Or right. of it's course, about one megabyte, I believe. Just use um, nice. Mac OS X and uh, yeah, yes, there you go. Or I think op- doesn't Open Open Office create PDFs? I wouldn't be surprised, but I'm not a uh, an Open Office user. Uh, I've got inst- I've got Neo Office installed. Oh, Datalore. On, Datalore. Uh, Datalore says yes. Uh, yes. Okay. Great. Uh, so, you know, there you go. There's. What is that? The. Uh... What was that? Uh, Datalore was just saying that he uses integrates with IE7. Oh, it integrates. Mm-hmm. Ah. Okay. Cool. Uh, anyway, if anybody else has any uh, <laughs> tips or tricks in working with uh, the PDF. Format. Well, I guess that's kind of redundant. The portable document format. Format. PDF files. <laughs> uh, any other viewers that you may happen to want to cast a vote for? Maybe ones that we've recommended here, or any ones that you may recommend, or just uh, you know uh, tips and tricks in working with PDFs. You know, finding that uh, uh, print as image was a lifesaver for me. Uh, that you know solved my problem. Uh, maybe you know of another problem that other people are having that can be solved either with these other programs or just, you know, from within the Adobe Reader itself. Uh, go ahead, leave a tip, trick, recommendation, or email me, chris at perillo.com. You're also welcome to swing by our website anytime, day or night. Now, when you come into our chat room, uh, you'll be greeted with uh, one of the, uh, our, our bot will say, hey, welcome to uh, the Chris Perillo chat room, sponsored by godaddy.com. That's right, we are sponsored by GoDaddy is one of our sponsors at least and you can register a domain name like uh, pdfviewingextravaganza.com boy if that one wasn't taken I'd be surprised uh, so short if you even know how to spell extravaganza and of course you can save 10% by using the coupon code CHRIS1 that's CHRIS and the number one uh, at godaddy.com gotta thank them for their sponsorship and uh, of course if you don't know where to chat with us anytime day or night Kat where, where can they find us? You can find us 24-7 at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later. See you later.